basically bulk methods help us to execute several operations in the same time and it will help us to to optimize our sql query that happens in the backend so so here i have a administrator a model with email and with the list of colleagues and we see that we don't have any administrator and let's imagine that we can uh, that we want to create several administrators so one way would be to actually uh, manually create for example admin1 and then admin2 but uh, that's not so efficient and there is a way to make it more efficient and this is using bulk create method so let's delete all administrators and i will show you how to do it you say administrator objects bulk create and then we say Administ first administrator and second administrator and let's also save it in the variable admins sorry it should be actually a list so we should actually pass a list to this bulk create method and we pass a list with administrator objects here and we can see that here we created this two administrators and also when we create these objects and we want to for example change something there so for example change the emails in uh, both of these objects uh, again one way to do it is actually uh, say like admins zero email equals something and then we would say save and then we would do uh, the same thing for the second admin but again this is not so efficient and there is more uh, more efficient uh, way to do that so we can use bulk update method and with bulk update method we can actually update uh, several objects in the same time and to do that of course first we need to specify new emails new email one for example new email two and now we can actually uh, bulk update these values so we will not do it as usual we will not uh, call save method for both of these objects but we would use only one method bulk update and here we would pass the query set of our admins and then we would pass uh, the list of parameters to update email and now we can see that we actually have new emails defined on this uh, administrator objects and this way uh, is much more efficient than uh, saving all of these admins uh, all of the objects in this admins list manually so bulk update uh, is actually more efficient and we also have a colleague model here and I have already prepared a command to 
populate uh, the colleagues model. So I have created here two colleagues and I also uh, saved administrators and colleagues in the variables admin1, admin2, colleague1, colleague2. For example, we have this admin1 and we want to an admin1 has this set of colleagues and we can actually add uh, these two colleagues in the same time so we say click one click two and basically that would be better than uh, do it uh, one by one so of course we could do click one and then we would do the same for click two so it would be two uh, two calls to this add method but it's better to use only one call where we add all of the objects that we need and this is uh, much more useful and we see that now admin has all these colleagues and we also can not only add several objects in the same time to the list uh, of related field we can also remove these objects remove several objects in the same time and they were removed successfully in this example for example we added two colleagues to one administrator but what if we want to add for example one colleague click one to admin one and click two to admin two uh, so the question is can we use some kind of bulk methods to do that too and the answer is yes and we need to actually uh, in order to do that we need to uh, get uh, this administrator colleagues relationship we call it ACR for example which means administrator colleagues relationship and uh, basically here as you can see the administrator has this colleagues many to many field and basically Django automatically kind of uh, creates this relationship between administrator and colleague and we can actually access it using this through operator through attribute and now when we have this administrator colleagues uh, relationship we can actually use uh, this bulk create method so we say ACR objects book create and here we pass uh, several relations so basically here we actually create relations between administrator and colleagues acr administrator equals admin1 colleague equals colleague1 and so you can see here that we use administrator which is automatically created name by Django administrator and we also have this colleague which is also automatically created by Django so for administrator we use this in lowercase for colleague we use the same name in lowercase too and we create this um, administrator colleague relationship and in this book create we can actually create several of them so we can actually specify one more administrator equals and
and so we pass to this bulk create several relationships and now we can actually check admin one has this colleague and admin two has this colleague. Uh, so using this uh, method to create bulk relationships is much more efficient than uh, adding, you know, first to admin one colleagues, then for admin two colleagues. So it's much better to use this bulk create. We can not only uh, create relationships, but we can also actually remove them. And to remove them, we need to import this queue. And here we need to change something. So first of all, we need to filter uh, this ACR objects. And here we don't pass the list, but we actually pass several queue statements. So, and also here. So what we do here is that we filter this uh, administrator colleagues relationships and we filter them by uh, using this queue function. Uh, and if you want to learn more about queue function uh, in the complex lookups, uh, you can find the link to the lesson in the description. But if you already understand uh, this uh, complex lookups with queue, you already understand what's happening here. So we basically say uh, that we need to find all the administrator colleague objects, uh, relationship objects where administrator admin one and colleague colleague one, or administrator admin two and colleague colleague two and then when we get all of these objects we just say delete and we see that our admins now don't have anything <laughs>